Okay, are we back on? Yeah, all right, let's try now. Or just, I'm going to do, I'm just going to work my way in uh, 3D2 because these are tough. So let's, let's give you some more examples, some more practice ones. So let's work on, uh, let's work on number two, uh, let's work 2B. So it's 4X. So I think, if I'm not mistaken, the first one, A, is mostly all, like, um, hopefully, it's all um, doing... Um, Un, undistributing, I guess you'd say we're pulling something out. Now it looks like we're going to get deeper into these patterns. So when I see something like this, two terms, and I notice the 25 right away, that's a perfect square, right? 5 squared. So I'm thinking right away, difference between perfect squares, right? That's this one, a squared minus b squared. And we know to factor that, it always equals a plus b times a minus b. So um, I'm really, we're really going to start to lean hard now on those five patterns at the top of the page. We're going to keep going up there and seeing like what, which one are we working with. But th this is not obvious because this is not, I see that this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and rewrite it right now. I see that this is five squared. So I've got the B squared part right away. I got this part. That's the minus, that's B. So B is equal to five. Right? B is 5, B squared. But that's not squared. But you're getting good at this, hopefully, and you're like, oh, wait a minute. 4, that's 2 squared. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite it like that. And do those parentheses. Don't be sloppy with your parentheses. So then you keep track of all everything. Don't have Because, you know, you just if you leave the parentheses out, it can change the whole problem around. Now we're getting closer. It's not quite, we want it to be just perfectly A squared. We want the squared outside the parentheses. We want the X inside. Can we just flip them around? Yes, we can. We can do that, right? You can just flip it around. It's okay. So you can just say 2 to the X squared minus 5 squared. And now we have it in the form of A squared minus B squared. And if you're not sure about that by now, if you're not sure that you can flip them, you know, you can you could test that out. Try it out. Like put a value in for x, like make x3, and see is there a difference between doing 2 squared, which is then 4, and then raising it to the third power, or is that different than doing 2 to the third power, which is 8, and then squaring that? And you'll find out it's no difference. It doesn't matter. Um, so anyway, now we're good. We have a squared minus b squared. That's the a, that's the b. So now I can write that as... 2 to the x, that's a, plus b times a, 2 to the x, minus b. And if I want to double check it, if I'm paranoid, I could, I could uh, foil that all back out, and I should come back to that. But um, I'm just going to look at the answer key and make sure it's right, and it is indeed correct. So that, one's, that one wasn't as bad. Um, should I do one more? Why not? Do one more. How about we try, let's see, let's, let's go to E. All right, let's go to E. That looks like it's still the same pattern. I don't want to try one that's too hard yet. 9 to the X minus 4 to the X. So neither one is, per, neither one is in that A squared minus B squared form yet, but they're both on their way because you have 9 and 4. So 9 is going to be 3. 3 squared to the x, 4 is going to be 2 squared to the x, and then I'm going to flip things around. So that's 3 to the x squared minus 2 to the x squared. And now I have, that's a, that's b, and I have a squared minus b squared. You could even write it like that if you wanted to. See, a squared minus b squared. But a is really equal to 3x. So when you write out your factors, it's going to be 3x plus 2x, that's the a plus the b, times the quantity ax minus, uh, a minus b, which is 3x minus 2x. I'm going to double check that, make sure I got that one right. That's e, 2e, yes, looks good. All right, so, so far so good. Let me upload that one.